Well, welcome, friends, to Dale's Tales. We've got a special one today for everybody, so listen closely to it. Long about ten and a half years ago, somewhere along like that, I was going probably through one of the roughest parts of my life that anyone could imagine. You know, divorce, bankruptcy, foreclosure on my house, IRS debt. To top it off, I lost a cousin to a sudden heart attack who was more like a sister to me than a cousin. But also, something came out of this also that I feel that was kind of divine. It's a dream I had all about that time. And to kind of set this dream up, I'll uh, get everybody's imaginations to go into, say, you ever seen the, the movie The Ten Commandments? And how the Hebrews lived, you know, in the little town, you know, the, the houses where they put the blood over the, the doorways, stuff like that. Well, just imagine that setting. All right, so the way the dream goes is I walked up to this wooden door, one of these, these houses, and, and I knocked on the door. Well, the door opened up. This real bright light shined from out of it. And the door opened on up. I came on in and there was a man standing there. He said, welcome, Dale. Come on in the house here. Make yourself at home. Well, the man happened to be Jesus Christ. From the way we've imagined seeing him. With the beard and the long hair and all. But that's who it was. And then I came in the house. And sitting over at a table, at a wooden table, was an old man sitting there cutting up bread with a knife. And he had on one of these robes and a hood, you know, kind of like like the Star, the Jedi Knights wore in Star Wars, you know, like one Obi-Wan Kenobi, those long robes and the hood. He's sitting there, long white beard, just a serene look on his face, and there was a ham on the table. Like you'd see it at Christmas, a Christmas ham. Well, this man sitting there at the table, Jesus looked at me and said, Dale, I'd like to introduce you to my father. And his father looked at me and said, Dale, would you like to have a ham sandwich? And uh, I said, no, thank you, Father. I, I'm, I'm well. Thank you very much. He said, well, suit yourself. If you change your mind, just let me know. Well, you know who that was? That was God. And the next thing you know, Jesus, he grabs me by the hand, takes me by the hand, and he says, come with me, Dale. And he leads me back to this room where there's this big hot tub back there. You know, like a hot tub you'd get in, you know, nowadays modern hot tub. Only it wasn't, uh, it wasn't bubbling with, with water or anything like that. It was bubbling with lava and flames shooting up out of it like a bonfire. And Jesus, he turns to me with a smile. And he looked at me and he says, Dale, do you trust me? And I said, yes, Lord, with all my heart and soul, I trust you. I just, I trust you immensely. He said, okay, well, I want you to get in that hot tub right there. And I said, yes, Lord, I'll, as you say, I got in the hot tub and I'm sitting in it with all these flames around me and this boiling lava. And it didn't hurt, hurt me one bit. Jesus asked me, he says, do you have faith in me? I said, yes, I do. So that's, I didn't get burned or anything. And I sat there with, in, that, in that hot tub. And Jesus sat in there, you know, with his great arms crossed, his wonderful glowing smile on his face. You know, like, okay, it, your, your, your faith has saved you from a terrible fate. Anyway, about that time I woke up. And for years, I couldn't figure out what the uh, what the hot tub was. Why that was in the, in this dream? I've only told a couple people about this this dream, and, and since it happened with my aunt Shirley, my girlfriend Teresa, and uh, Teresa brought it to my attention. She says that that hot tub Dale was was the Holy Spirit. And it all makes sense to me then. So I got visited in one dream by the Son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All in one dream in one night. Now how cool is that? And the only thing I could really get out of this dream, 
I analyzed it in my head for years, is that you got to put your trust in Jesus Christ and nothing can happen to you. And the Father's there to see over everything. To see if you need anything. Say a ham sandwich, for instance. Anything you may need, God's there for you. He give it to you. So anyway, I, I thought I'd share this with everyone because I thought the timing was right for it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was uh, something that's dear to my heart, having a dream like that. And I think that it was a divine dream because that, you know, the Lord and the, they came to me all at once in a, in a dream to, to tell me something. So hopefully I got some sense out of it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, anyway, I'm on to Greensboro, North Carolina. So we'll see you for the next Dale's Tale. And thank y'all for listening. All right, the end.